Hi, today we're going to talk about costs, about reliability of BMWs and I will give you the top 5 of the most cheap BMWs to buy and to maintain. And I want to admit that uh, I will talk about the complex, about the costs to buy, about the costs to maintain, about the reliability and uh, all these items uh, will be the main logic of my top so based on this the thing is if you want to buy a bmw which is cheap you should buy simple bmw it should be only on the rear wheel drive it should be only on manual transmission and it should have it should have only one head so uh, we will not talk today about the v8 cars about the 540s 740s uh, we will talk about the simplest cars bmw made and making today which is cheap to maintain simple and uh, which has simple parts also i'm sorry but in this top there will be no fresh cars because uh, the fresh bmws are complicated they have very complicated electronic systems uh, they have valve tronics uh, vanosis etc etc and in my top there will be bmw with the engine uh, that has vanosis but uh, mm, this system is okay and when we're talking about reliability the simplest car is the cheapest it's in uh, maintain so unfortunately my 90 series 328 2011 is not in this top my previous car is 39 either because it had a 4.4 liter v8 and uh, i just spent it the total car force in my engine so let the top begin the top five and in fifth place i want to put the e30 yes the E30, which uh, almost 10 years ago, it was maybe the cheapest and uh, really the cheapest to buy, the cheapest to maintain, it had the cheapest parts, but it was 10 years ago. But now you can buy it, not for uh, the money of the world, it, it's still cheap, but uh, to maintain it you will have to have some experience and uh, also money, 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 money. Because on the trash yards you can't find the parts now as you could find it 10 years ago. I owned the E30 10 years ago and I am I know what I'm talking about. Uh, you had everything uh, in the times. And now if you, you want to buy uh, an E30 and to maintain it good, uh, it will be very hard and very difficult to find the parts, uh, the proper good parts. Uh, also, the new parts are costing uh, the same, also, <laughs> or maybe uh, the same as on Z90, for example. And uh, this this car has no balance to buy it and to maintain. So, uh, I think you understood already that on my top, on the first place, there, there will be not a BMW particularly cheap to buy. It will be the complex, uh, the, the price to buy, the price to maintain and the, the cost of the parts before we start with the fourth place i want uh, to say one thing about the asserting on the fifth place it's too old so yes engines are old and uh, bodies are old rust almost everywhere and you will find yes you can find the car with uh, with a good body with no rust but this will cost you the price of the 90 back to the fourth place and uh, this might sound some kind of weird but i want to put uh, the e60 on the fourth place and don't close the window <laughs> don't do anything just listen uh, i'm talking only about the pre-lci versions only on manual transmission only on the m54 engine m milk <laughs> not the n series not the LCI versions with N52 engines, no, only on M54 engine. By the way, the low capacity engines are also good uh, to buy and this is a good advice to buy 
some kind of 2.2 M54 engine with the manual push transmission. The engine uh, with the small pistons are really more reliable. Uh, we will talk about this later, but uh, for now, just uh, just know this. Uh, engines with little pistons are better for the old cars, uh, for the big ranges. And yes, you might say that, uh, okay, the E60 is a really complicated car with uh, electronics. Yes, I know this, but it's a fresh car. It's already a fresh car. And uh, you can find it uh, with uh, 200 kilometers uh, mi mileage or uh, maybe even 300 and it will be still still reliable and still have not as much problems. Also, you can just uh, read the issues that the car says and it's really simple. And this is maybe uh, this golden um, middle page of this top. Uh, because um, this car, the 60 is fresh, so it has no problems with the ra rust, it has uh, no problems with bodies, and uh, this is a car to think about, this is a car really to think about, and I just put it on the first place, because, because it's, it's the X60, you have to have to turn on your mind, you have to think about uh, your car, uh, you, you have to listen to your car, you have to understand your car and this, and this is uh, not just simple car because of its uh, electronics and uh, its uh, kind of new generation BMWs uh, which are complicated and you should understand this and that's why because this car on the third, fourth place if you were me, uh, I understand these cars I. Uh, I'm driving BMWs more than 10 years. For me, this car is on the first place. Because for me, it's the simplest car. But uh, for guys that don't know any about BMWs anything, unfortunately, it has the first position. Talking about the third place, for me, it was hard to decide uh, the E34 or E39. Both cars are brilliant, but uh, when we are talking about reliability, uh, we should admit the years of the car. So the E34 is also old. So we should put the E39 on the third place because because it's just younger. And uh, when we are talking about the E34, it has these old uh, M20 engines that uh, in today's 2022 20, year you can't find mostly anything on this engine and uh, it's a problem also this engine has all technologies uh, old ignition system and this is quite badly yes yes the e34 has the m50 engine and that's brilliant but uh, also ages are taking itself and uh, it's kind of mm, it's old <laughs> the engine is brilliant but uh, it's sold from the, unfortunately, from the E34. That's because I want to put on the third place the E39, because it's younger. Yes, you have uh, the same rust problems with that uh, if you take E34, but you have more fresh engines. Also, I want to admit that the best uh, buy advice to buy the E39 is the LCI version not the prelate LCI, so uh, we are talking about e in E39 from the 1999 year on the manual transmission also and also with the M54 engine or if you are talking uh, about uh, a bit older cars it's the generation of M52 TU engines so these engines are pretty the same and uh, they have uh, the same reliability they are, these engines are the best of uh, the bmw golden age to my mind when we are talking only about reliability and costs they are brilliant and for motorsport also you can turbocharge it and uh, it will do it do a good job so the e39 is the simple car uh, it has good electronics it's on a Canvas, you can read it, read the issues, uh, and uh, you will understand all about the car. 
uh, yes it has the rush there are the rush problems but uh, the cost to buy is lower than that uh, we are talking about j60 for example so it so i want to put the 39 on the third place because of this the second place the second place is one of my uh, loved uh, bodies of the east of the bmw it's the e36 uh, i have brilliant experience with uh, the e36 i had uh, e36 coupe with the m50 b25 engine EU version with one runners and this engine made itself it was brilliant and brilliant experience about this car i loved it loved it loved it but it was it was in 2014 and eight years and um, the years are taking itself unfortunately the years are taking itself and now this car can't be on the first place just because of these years the rust is taking this car over and uh, the parts are rear and rear and rear on the junkyards and that's terrible unfortunately I want to put it on the second place. I wanted to put it on the first place. I just I, I love the E36 very much. But this is the place. Uh, most ideal car to buy if you want the E36. Uh, but also only manual transmission. The M M50 engine is brilliant, but uh, God, this engine is old. Unfortunately, it's old and uh, yes it's reliable but it's all the guys you will have issues with this engine and uh, to maintain it uh, to give it full restoration that will cost you a lot more than the car costs and so the, the car costing not too much but the maintain and uh, reliability is very bad so if you want the e36 i want you to recommend the m5 m 42 engine it's four cylinder engine it's quite good it's going well it's going even better than m50 b20 in the e36 it's really sporty it's uh, economically you can do some kind of uh, 10 11 or maximum 12 liters per 100 kilometers so it's a good uh, fuel range and it's reliable it has a normal ignition system it uh, it is simple because it has, has only four cylinders and if you just want to make something with this engine it will not cost you a lot also on the junkyards you can find them and uh, it's not the six cylinder you understand the six cylinder head is 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 not cheap it's expensive and it's real you always uh, have troubles if you overheat this engine you will have the trouble with your head on the six cylinder engines and with the four cylinder engines it's not about it so uh, my position is on the second place the a36 with the manual transmission and m42 engine and uh, the first place give me some drums yes it's the e46 this is the golden position if you want to buy a bmw if this is the first bmw for you in these years and uh, maybe in the range of five years in the future and this will be your golden position to buy because uh, it's not too old still and uh, this is a technology good car so you can read it with no issues uh, the car will tell you itself what's wrong with it it has normal engines with uh, normal ignition it's quite really reliable it's simple uh, it has simple parts to buy uh, you can find on the junkyards mostly everything you want and this is a perfect perfect uh, drift platform for the beginning for the start and uh, you can buy this car almost with every engine you want and uh, also uh, the engine that was that i was talking about in the e60 in the um, e39 you can also buy it in the e46 so the m52 tu engine and the m54 engine on the manual transmission this is a brilliant position to buy
so uh, yes you still have some some kind of rust problems with the e46 but uh, not so huge that on the e30 or, or the e36 even on the even better than the with the situation with the e39 uh, yes the e60 is better with the body and the rust problems but uh, no the e60 is more complicated than the e46 and that's why that's why this is the car on the first place i want to put it on the first place for the guys that are non bmw owners now that know nothing about bmws and this is my best advice for you to buy the e46 with m52 tu engine or the m54 engine only on manual transmission guys if you will buy this car on the automatic uh, you will have a very very high fuel uh, fuel range so uh, it will eat mostly 18 liters on the 100 kilometers and that's quite bad on the manual transmission you have nothing of these problems uh, this car will just make something about 13 14 liters per 100 kilometer and that's great also i will uh, still uh, give you advice to buy not very um, high capacity engine because uh, still if the piston is little uh, the engine will survive more and more because of the detonation uh, and uh, other things that are, uh, will not uh, be in this video so on this point i just want to end this video thank you very much for watching please subscribe please put like please write maybe your first place of this top uh, of the cheapest bmw to buy and maintain maybe you have some other position this is interesting to discuss, uh, so I'll see you in the next videos and in the comments. Bye.